Hey fellow YouTubers, welcome to my DYL project using Marvel Contact from the one and only Kmart. <laughs> As you can see, um, this little white shelf is where I have my makeup and so forth. And I'm going to put this Marvel Contact on it because it's going to yuck and moldy and stain, that sort of thing. So. Yeah, I'm just going to show you part of that. And I kept staring at it, and it was just like, Ew. And I wanted to do something with Marvel Contact, so it linked up really nicely. <laughs> so during this video, you'll just see me go step by step through the process of putting it on, and then obviously the end results, which is really amazing, to be honest. <laughs> So at the top I've got all my makeup and brushes and stuff. And then I've got my bags in that com other compartment. And then there's a drawer down the bottom. Wasn't sure if I was going to do that side or not. But I was at least going to do the other side and the top of it. And there I am. <laughs> Just to put me in the video. It's a bit tricky filming by yourself, so I had to sort of manipulate the camera and what I was doing at the same time. So it was really, really tricky. I might need to um, hire a film person to take film of me when I do my YouTube videos. Um, if only, hey. Yeah, so I'm just taking everything off the top of it, and then those two sheets I've just got there, so I can dust the top and the side before I actually put the contacts on top just so it's all nice. Um, as you can see I've got a fair bit of stuff that I keep up there but it's really really good to keep it up right beside your brow like that because it's accessible. Okay so we open the contacts obviously. <laughs> good first step. <laughs> and then I was just seeing how much we sort of needed um, for the top and the slide and just to see if one roll was going to be enough or if I had to go came out and get more. But there was plenty there in one roll so that was good. It was really really cheap too and the contact in Kmart so if you want to go get some. There are other styles other from the Marvel and from since from doing this I've kind of had a marble phrase going on at the moment <laughs> which is cool. Um, as you can see the top was really disgusting as well and I couldn't afford Obviously, a new piece of furniture. So the you know the three dollars for the contacts worked well. So I was just dusting it all, make sure it was appropriate to um put the contacts onto. And then next we had to um just cut the certain amounts for the top and the side and so forth. And there I was just sort of seeing you know how much overlap do I need to go um, and it was best to bring it forward a bit so more at the front of showing that sort of thing. I'm very precise when I do things <laughs> just so you know. So it took me a while to actually do it because it had to be perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, so... I'm oh, sorry, the camera just went a bit fuzzy there. So I just cut some off there and then... There were some little bits left over as well which is always handy in case something goes wrong or a little bit needs filling in. This is my first DIY project by the way, so if you have any comments just comment below. 
as well. So here I'm just measuring this slide, how much I would need, etc, etc. Um, before we move on, uh, so I've decided to put the slide on first, before the top. And I'll just put a little bit on and then I'm just rubbing it down to get the air out and all that jazz. And it actually went on easy and smooth. Um, yeah, it was a lot easier <laughs> than uh, previous contact things that I had done, um, which was like way back when I was in school and tried to like contact all your books and that. It was very easy to do doing that. <laughs> so yeah, I just kept going bit by bit down and then got all the bubbles out and stuff like that. Sometimes there was heat, sometimes there wasn't that many. And it, yeah, it actually looks amazing when it's fun. So we're nearly to the bottom of the side, and then I'll, I'll sort of show you what I do after that, just sort of curve it around all the bits on the bottom and the sides and so forth. So yeah, just a friendly reminder about my contest, it ends the end of this month. Um, if you watched my came out whole video, which is the video before this one, and uh, you'll see what the prize is and all you need to do to enter is make a comment on that video. How easy is that? And then I'll make a draw if there's any entries um, after the month's finished, so early November sometime. And I'll video that and let the winner know obviously that they won. And then we'll work out some private messages, how to get it to you and that. So check that out. Here I'm just snipping little bits to um, curve it around the front nicely. So it's looking good. This bit I had a bit of a trouble with. <laughs> but um, what I ended up doing was just um, a tried to trim it first but it didn't really work um, evenly so what I did was I ended up taking off the whole little bit there and then with the separate little bits that I had left over from cutting and so forth I made a little strip bit that was straight and then I put that on. It was just really awkward filming and trying to do it obviously at the same time as I said before. So as you can see, I, as I said a second ago, I just took that bit off. And then I measured a tiny bit to go on there, but before I did that, um, just so the stickiness wouldn't go on the back bit, I put all that down first. And then went back to the other bit. As I said, it went on really easy, so if you're questioning of, you know, whether to DIY some furniture like with contacts, I suggest you do it, because it's really, really good. Easy to go on. So yeah, that back bit went on really nicely. And then I just fixed the bottom bit a bit, because it, um, came a bit unstuck and it's looking amazing and then I go back to fix that little bit up the front and then I show you the end product of the side and then I do the top bit after that Maybe you can comment below if you like marble. See? How awesome is that? That's just one side too. 
I couldn't believe it, but it was... So yeah, I fixed up that little bit. Next, I had to find the piece on this one first. I wouldn't go in that brilliantly, but um, it hasn't got in the way of the jaw. A little bit up there and things, so it's fine. And then they go to the top because the side is now awesome. <laughs> Could sing that song. <laughs> For the top bit, because it was a bit hard um, pressing the, the dodgy bits out of it. I use that long rod which um, sits when my window's closed, it sits in there. And um, this bit really stuffed up on me and that was really annoying because it was going so well. But I thought uh, something's gonna sit on there and cover it and it's only a little hole. Or I can, you know, overlap it with some other stuff. So it didn't really matter that much. But now the top's looking amazing. And you can't tell from the distance either. And my makeup, um, get the hairbrush section sits on that, the tray in that, so you can't tell. So yeah, I was just um, doing the backs, um, actually I did both sides, I folded under first and then I did the back and then I did the front and woohoo, it was all done then. And then after that I was thinking, mm -mm, should I do the other side? And I thought myself. Hmm. I thought, you know, the top and the other side look amazing, so I'll do the other side as well. That was just um, kind of a bit there, so it went under nicely. But yeah, I'm so amazed by how it looks. I just look at it so, so much because it looks awesome, yeah. <laughs> so that's the top. How amazing is that? And that's the side. Woohoo! <laughs> Maybe you guys have a DIY you would like to share with me. So here, as I said, a second ago I was deciding whether to do that side or not and I decided to go ahead because I had enough contact and I wanted that side to look absolutely amazing as well like the rest of it. So yeah, I'm just working on that side at the moment. But I'm pretty easy. As I said, it was tricky filming myself, so I apologize for what I missed and what I could capture and everything. But yeah, but just fixing that side. And it actually went on evenly and really well on that side. And then I just snipped it a little bit there to go in a bit. But that bit went really nicely and the jaw closes and stuff and opens. It's a shame it didn't work nicely like that on the other side but anyway. Amazing! Woohoo! So I did two sides and the top and it looks wonderful. As I said I keep looking at it because it looks so good. <laughs> Yeah, so for the rest of the video I just put 
and my display makeup we have actually items on there and they were all from Kmart. Most of you noticed that. I'm a Kmart holic, that's why I do Kmart holics. <laughs> so yeah, I just put things back where they belong and then show you what it looks like again off the latch. So yeah, thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And check out my came out haul which was before this one because there's a contest. Remember to enter the contest. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram as well so I'll leave those details uh, down below. And yeah, that's how I set up things. <laughs> I build my gear for the day. And it's nice and handy because it's beside the mirror. So yeah, absolutely amazing. <laughs> Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Not sure what it will be as yet, probably another Kmart haul to annoy me or it could be something new. See you then.